Hi everyone, welcome to the Mutter, Mutter Bears room here. Uh, today, I don't know if you're going to guess what we're going to be making, but out of a milk jug, a pot can, empty roll of tin foil, four wooden sticks, painter's tape, and tin foil. I don't know what you think we're going to make, but we are going to, out of all of this, we are going to make a giraffe. Yes, a giraffe. It's, it's not as, you know, as hard as you think. This is going to be the neck, this is the body, and these would be the legs, okay? And this, of course, is the head. So what we're going to do is wrap everything in tin foil, first of all, not this base part, but we're going to wrap this in tin foil, which is going to be the head, and we are going to wrap the sticks and we're going to wrap this here too. So get our aluminum foil out here. So when you're wrapping everything, you want to make sure that you wrap it with a shiny side out. That way the painters, the tape will stick to it. We have a new roll here that I'm starting. So we'll wrap the sticks first. Put your foil in this case is our friend, because we'll be using lots of it. So we're going to wrap the legs, just to give a little more width. You can shape it a little bit too. Okay. So we're going to wrap the Once again, I'm going to get my tape, and I 
put the shiny side out on the tip bow so that way the tape is going to stick. So this is a four liter milk jug. I like recycling things. God knows we have so much plastic around. If we have to have plastic around, let's use it. Okay, let's just use it. All right. Okay, so before I put the head on, I want to get the legs on here. So when I looked at my picture, the giraffe had shorter legs in the back and longer in the front. So we're going to put these guys on and we're going to make them stand, I guess. Hopefully. <laughs> And we're going to get these on here. Then I can adjust them afterwards once I get them on. We're going to have to give him some support and everything anyway. So I'll get this taped on. So maybe a little bit lower.
and it's been mixed up and we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start doing the legs first. So with the paste, it's all been mixed and everything. I'm going to actually do the body. We're just going to lay down the paper place. Go around the legs now. do this and put it on and get this bottom nice and firm and then work on the bum. Picture of a giraffe, it does have more of an arch back here, so I did add extra onto that. Anyway, we love the view that I made them. So, this draft is fairly big, it's going to take a lot of paper and a lot of glue, but it's going to be gorgeous when it's done. So, we're going to get this done up. It's not as, you know, hard as you would think. You know, I've never made a giraffe before. So, so far, so good. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, I do believe, I'll leave the head till the end. I'm going to start on the neck and work my way down. So, once again, what we want to do is just make sure to get that excess glue off. And we're going to wrap it around the neck. I'm going to work our way down. See, I had done the neck before, but... Of course, I added more stuff, uh, more tin foil, so I have to do it again. So I think I'm just going to put the glue right here, and we're just going to start mudding it around. So this will make the neck nice and strong too, okay? Okay, so I'm going to get some more. 
it's not perfect, it's fine because I have smooth it out with um, with my lead coating that I put on afterwards. That lead coating's out of uh, primer paint, paint and primer, fruity a lighter color and salt with a salt and um, flour. And it's an expensive way to make a a uh, mud coat for this. You can also use drywall mud. If you have extra paint lying around, flour and salt, save yourself some money. On vehicles, I tend to use where to have to do some sanding on something that's sanding some the surface. I tend to use drywall because with the paint and flour in that, you really can't sand it. You can really smooth it out with water though. But once it dries, it's, it's dry. Whereas drywall, you can sand it once it's dry. So I want to bring this in here. See this right here? It's a sharp edge. I want to blend that in. of my giraffe, teaspoon and a third of salt, and I've used some uh, gray paint with primer in it, just enough to, uh, to do the thickness that I want, and then after when I want it a little bit thicker, I'll add some more flour to it, a little more salt, and I'll use that to form, so it'll be a thicker mud um, that I'll form the face out of it. So uh, right now, this is what I'm going to be doing, is just mudding the bottom, and I want to make sure I get it through all, trying to smooth it out as much as possible, um, because it's an animal, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, because they do have their, uh, their fur and everything on it too. So I'm going to start doing that, and uh, work with my mudder hands here, and um, we'll do the bottom first. Mud. We're going to mud him. We're going to mud everything on the top. 
Then we're going to let that dry. Then we're going to build up. I'm going to make some mud that's just a little bit thicker, and we're going to mud uh, where Tom has facial features, any place where I think needs to be filled in. So right now, I'm just going to start mudding, and um, I may talk a little bit as I mud, and I may not. But if there's anything I need you to know, I'll let you know. So I'm just getting my hands all dirty, getting my mudder hands all muddy, making sure that all the paper mache is covered. That's what we're doing. And again, like I said before, the paper mache gets covered with this mud that um, makes it smooth and easier to paint, and it protects the paper mache. Okay. I also want to make some um, hooves on here too. So down below, I'm going to pour in some hooves. I know it's kind of hard to see there, but I'll get those done. Welcome back. So, we have put the base coat on, and I did it the underneath. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to paint another coat all over, and it's going to be kind of not white, but it's going to be a little bit of yellow, not even yellow, but um, it's going to be kind of a light beige color. So I'm going to mix this in here with it just to get that color I want. I'll show you what color I'm going for. It's this color right here. So that's what we're going to paint. It's not white and it's not yellow. It's kind of a creamy color. And that is going to go, add a little water to this, it's going to go all over our baby giraffe here. So we're going to do the bottom first and it almost looks just like the white but it's not. More of a creamy color when we're going to get that all over here. Nice and fun. <laughs> not really but we're going to get this all on and put this on our giraffe and then after that we're going to let it dry. Uh, we are going to do the pattern of the giraffe. So really, not a lot of color. Hey, good morning everyone, and welcome back. Today we're going to do some painting on our baby giraffe here. We're going to paint the mane, and paint this part here of his face, and we're going to draw his spots. So basically all in one color that we're doing today, and that's going to be kind of the lighter rusty brown color. So I got my paint color right here, and um, we're going to go through and uh, get everything painted, and then we'll let that dry, and then we can continue on. So a lot of it is this rusty brown color. I'm not sure if you can see it. I just built it. So what we'll do is uh, I'm going to start off with that, and uh, I am going to paint his face first of all. And uh, we'll go from there, okay? So today is all about painting him. So we're just going to, and I'm just going to do the, the outline of the paint and I'll get it stronger on the second time around. So I'm just going to paint through here and around his nose area. I have a picture that I'm following around through here too. So the first time through is just going to be kind of getting where the colors are supposed to be. And then afterwards, we'll uh, fine tune it. So he's going to have this color right through his nose, and it's going to go all the way through here. And like I said, we'll fine tune it after with the second coat. Okay? Now I'm going to paint his mane. I really, I made this watery so it really has to get in there because I made it quite rough, and we want to get it in all the little areas here. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to speed this part up here and get my mutter hands going. Okay, here we go. Giraffe is done. So basically, I put the eyelashes on, I sprayed him with a protector, and he's ready to go. Uh, just an overview of what we've done here that this giraffe is made out of a Filido milk jug, which is the body. Okay, the tin foil roll, empty tin foil roll, is the neck, and the pop can is the face. The four legs are made out of sticks. And then we had tin foil and painter's tape that we used. So it doesn't take much to make a giraffe. It just takes imagination, a will. If there's a will, there's a way. And you can create wonderful things. So our little giraffe here turned out to be a great project and it looks fabulous. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next uh, project that I have it is going to be I'm uh, making myself a mascot so until then have a great day and bye